ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at wave one of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks discount truck. Now, there's a reason why I call these discount trucks, um, and I'll show you why. Not only are they worth a dollar, as you can see here, they are worth a dollar, whereas a normal Hot Wheels monster truck is worth around like, you know, three to four dollars. These ones are cheaper, and as you can see, they are definitely, they're made of mostly of plastic. They're a lot smaller. This is the exact Mega Rex here that we're copying, as you can see. But yeah, so they're cheaper, they're smaller, they're all made of plastic, and you can only get them for a dollar, whereas instead of like three to four dollars. Alrighty, everybody, here we go. Getting ready to get right into this new video here. Like I said, we have got four of these trucks that we're looking at today. They are just cheap versions of actual Hot Wheels monster trucks. And you know what? I've, they, they're pretty cool to have around just for whatever. So I figured I'd pick them up and just get them. Why not? So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at four of these today. Like I said, they are called the Discount. Well, they're not actually called that. That's just the nickname I gave them. They're known as the discount trucks because they're just cheaper versions of actual Hot Wheels monster trucks. So yeah, and like I said, there are, are four of them. The first one I'm gonna show you, I will, cause like what I usually do for monster truck videos is if the truck exists in real life, I usually play a video so you can see what the real one looks like compared to the die cast one. Uh, in today's video of the four we're looking at, only one of these exists in real life. Actually, I take that back, two of them do. However, one of them has the incorrect paint job, so I won't show the video for it. But the first one we're gonna look at, I'll show you guys the video. And then the other three, there won't be videos for. Sound good? All right, so let's just get that done and over with. First up, we are gonna be taking a look at Bone Shaker. All righty, now you know what the real one looks like. I seem to have lost my knife, which is not a good thing, so I'm gonna have to open these with a pair of scissors. Ain't no big deal, though. I don't know how exactly these are put on here, though. It looks like tape. Yeah, looks like there's a strip of tape holding this down. Let me see if I can get that strip of tape off. So, yeah, I've never opened these before, so this is gonna be a, a fun experience trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna... Okie dokie, then, that's not working. Um, let me think here. Okay, so if I can figure out how to get this piece of tape off back here, then I can get that strip, that little plastic strip, up and off, and then I think that's how you open these. I'm pretty dang sure, I think anyways. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pause the video until I figure this out. Aha, I got it, okay. And then, do that, and there we go. Get our little discount monster truck out of there. Heck yeah. And then like usual, keep the card, discard the plastic. All right, there's the card. Okay, so here we go. Here is Bone Shaker. Look at that. So yeah, it looks exactly like the normal Bone Shaker. It's got the uh, black body and red roll cage there. As you can see, the chassis is also red. They are stuck together. Those also have uh, screw bits on them, so you can easily remove the, uh, or like Phillips head screws down there, so you can easily remove the body, probably disassemble the whole truck if you wanted to. So yeah, so as you can see here, the decals are stickers, which I'm not a huge fan of stickers, you know how I am about that, but that's no big deal here. We've got the skull and the flames that every bone shaker has, and as you can see, printed in to the back fender, you can see the Hot Wheels, Monster, uh, Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks logo back there which looks super duper cool. Flip over to the other side, we've got the Hot Wheels logo and the flames on this side again with the Hot Wheels and Monster Truck logos in back. Everything is just mirrored. Flip up to the top and you can see all the details here. We've got the skull, the famous skull up there drawing. And then of course you got the fuel tank and battery. And of course you can see those eight headers sticking out right there. And then if we flip over to the front side, you can see that famous skull grill with the headlights in the hands there, which look super cool. You've also got these little zoomies right here, which look amazing. And then if we flip over to the back side, you can see it is absolutely blank and that there's nothing to see there. The tires are black with black rims. I think they all have that. Yep, they all have the black with black rims look there. 
Yeah, so that is the bone shaker, the first one we're looking at in today's video. Again, with the monster trucks, they have that dynamic steering, as you can see there. So yeah, there you go, that is bone shaker. Alrighty, next up we have a weird one. The only way, or the only version of this truck in existence outside of this, I think, is the 124 scale. We've never gotten a 164 scale of this one. This is Lava Shark. Lava Shark, as you can see here, is one of their various shark designs. And I don't know what it is with like real life monster truck groups and the die cast companies recently, but the sharks. Why are there so many sharks? It is such an overused thing. Every single like monster truck team and every single die cast company has a shark at this point it is just so boring so unoriginal i don't understand what the deal is with it and we all know that shark reek is the original shark that everybody should know they should bow down for that one because the newer version of shark reek is way cooler than the original in my opinion so yeah but like monster jam has megalodon hot wheels monster trucks live has tiger shark Team to Extreme has Shark Bite. The one racing team has Shark Attack. I'm pretty sure there's another shark somewhere along the lines out there in the real world, but I don't remember. Like there's just so many. It is such an overused thing. And now we're getting all these dinosaur themed trucks. Like we've got, you know, Velociraptor, Jurassic Attack. We've got Thunder Roarus, which is like a robo dinosaur. Like, God, why are there so many of di there's so many dinosaurs and sharks for some reason, and I don't know why. It is so annoying. But that's that's my little rant of the video. That just the shark and the dinosaur, the most unoriginal monster truck designs. I don't know why everybody thinks they need one or they they need to come up with one. And you know what I've always wondered? How come we don't get things like hammerhead sharks or like? You know, if you're gonna go along the lines of doing something aquatic, do something original, like a sword, well, not a swordfish. I think Hooked has a swordfish on the side of it. But do something original. Hammerhead shark, do a sawfish, do like a clownfish or an angelfish. Do something original, for the love of God. Why do a shark truck when you instead could do like a sturgeon or something that would be way cooler? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, really don't get it. But anyway, here is Lava Shark which is just an absolutely horrendous <laughs> creation. Anyway, so the body here, as you can see, is a sparkly like tomato red. The roll cage and chassis are black, as well as the tires and rims. So the body really pops out on this one. As you can see on the side detail-wise, we've got the Hot Wheels logo and the Monster Truck logo. You can see the eye amongst the uh, cracking magma on the side there, which looks super duper cool. And the body is the classic like shark design for Hot Wheels. You've got the teeth, the eye, the torn fin in the back. This side is exactly the same. Again, the, detail, the decals are all stickers. If we flip over to the top, you can see this decal here with the Hot Wheels logo and all of that magma on there, which looks really cool. And you got like the dorsal fin and all that up here, which looks super, super neat. The front end is the shark's mouth and the back end is the shark's tail. So there you go, that is Lava Shark. Arguably my, I don't want to say least favorite because this next one's kind of disappointing, but arguably one of my least favorite Hot Wheels concepts in general. It just feels so uninspired. Like it's just, I feel like they didn't put a lot of work into this one. They was just like, ooh, we haven't done anything like lava themed yet. How about another shark? Because why not, I guess? I don't know. Here's the turntable. Oh boy, would you look at that, another dinosaur. <laughs> I forgot to mention Mega Rex when I was naming off all my dinosaurs earlier. Anyway, this is Mega Rex. This truck actually does exist in real life, but not this paint job specifically, so I'm not gonna show a video for it. I'm just gonna use, if the, if the paint jobs of the die cast and the real life truck match, then I'll show them, but this paint job does not exist for Mega Rex yet. But anyway, 
This is the gray version of Mega Rex, which is arguably probably my favorite version of Mega Rex. All of the designs that they've done for Mega Rex, like even the real life one is probably second place for my favorite when it comes to like dinosaur, not even dinosaur, just Mega Rex in general. I think that's probably the cool one, but I really like this gray one. The cyborg one is really weird in my opinion. I don't quite get what they were doing with that one. But again, my opinion. Just my opinion, yeah. My silly little opinion. All right, let me get this open. These are these are weirdly difficult to open, but they probably not even you know near as difficult to open as those freaking world's smallest Hot Wheels launch trucks. World's smallest as a company has the stupidest packaging I've ever seen in my entire life. And like I said, or you know, we've got a video for the world's smallest Hot Wheels monster trucks coming up. You'll see what I mean by when I say their packaging is stupid. Like it is so dumb, and you'll see it. But yeah. Anyway, here we go. This the packaging for these. I won't lie. Other than the fact to open them the correct way, it's really stupid. But or it's kind of dumb the way they set that up. But other than that, I really like the pa the way they package these. It works really well. So. This is Mega Rex. Now, here is why this one is my least favorite. The, at the side of the trucks have zero detail. It is only the top of the truck that got paint detail. At least it's not a decal, we can say that, but still, I would have preferred a decal on the side just to cover up all this empty space. They really didn't put a lot of detail into the side of the truck. So the body is gray. We've got a black uh, roll cage chassis, rim, and wheel setup, kind of like the last truck. If we zoom in here, you can make out the only detail that they really put into the side of the truck. And it's really hard to see, but it says Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Mega Rex on the back fender there. So they at least put the name on the truck, which is something that the actual truck has. But as you can see, you can see the mouth set up here with the arm, the eye, all of that set up there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be an ear hole. This side is exactly the same, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there. There is some like bumps here on the mouthpiece. And on the top, you can see that they painted all of the scaling to be black, which I appreciate that detail. At least they did that. It works really well there. I love the way that turned out. Here's the mouth. You can see the nostrils and the teeth there on the front with the glare of the uh, front of the truck. And then here is the back end with that pickup truck style body. You've got the bumper with the tail lights and the bed frame there. And then, of course, you got the tail sticking out as well. So there's Mega Rex. Uh, are definitely my least favorite truck out of these four just because of the absolute lack of detail that they put into this. But yeah, so there we go. That is truck number three. One final truck to go before we can call this video over with, and it is the fourth and final truck, Roger Dodger. Now, this one is actually pretty interesting because it is based off of the original Hot Wheels car, Roger Dodger. But there's an interesting detail I want to point out here that they didn't even do on, like, the monster truck. The original monster truck doesn't even have this detail, but they put it on this one, which I thought was really strange. And like I said, when I point it out, you guys are going to see it, and you're going to see what I'm talking about, how weird it is that they did this, but... Yeah, I gotta get this guy open first. So, let's get her open. Hold that down and pull up. There we go. There we go. There's the card. We always keep the cards. That's just the thing. And here is the... Now, again, there's some weird detail choices that they made here, but there's one that really sticks out, and it's the door. The actual monster truck that this is based off of does not say Hot Wheels on the door. In fact, the entire side of the truck is blue. There's no detail on the actual truck, but for some reason they put a Hot Wheels logo here, and I don't know why. If they were that concerned with covering up the negative space, why didn't they do that on the actual truck? I don't know. But again, I think there's actually flames on the front fender, so I think they're making up for that dead space that they could put on there with the flames. Who knows? Anyway... Uh, black roll cage, chassis, rims, and wheels. We managed to keep all that from last time. Flip over to this side. We've got an inverted Hot Wheels logo. Nothing to see there. The top of the truck is where all of the flame detailing is at that the actual truck and car that this is based off of has. The flame details are pretty much exact. Again, they put a Monster Trucks logo up there. Not on the real truck. Or not on the actual truck this is based off of. That's not there. 
But again, we got the huge motor, the original Roger Dodger motor, not the modified one that the cars have nowadays. That They nerfed the engine on Roger Dodger. I don't know why they did that. Here's the front end. And then here is the back end. So there you go, everybody. That is Roger Dodger, the final truck. Truck number four. Here's the turntable for that one. Alrighty, everybody, there they are, all four of them all together in one place. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Bone Shaker is easily my favorite because they they captured every possible detail they could with that one. Mega Rex and Roger Dodger, I feel, suffered greatly detail-wise. They are missing a lot of detail. But Lava Shark, for what it is, actually turned out really good just because it didn't have a lot of detail to begin with. Now, had I had my way and I would have been making these, I know they're discount, but I would have spent a couple extra dollars just to put some paint on the windows of all of these to show where the windows are because it all looks like one solid body piece. I hate the way that looks. So that's just my only complaint. But again, these were all a dollar a piece. It cost $4 to make this video right here. So I really can't complain all these all that much. Literally, I the amount of money I spent on one of these monster trucks was the amount of money I spent on this rare Hot Wheels car right here. Like one, this Roger Dodger right here costs the same as this Treasure Hunt Hot Wheels car. So I really cannot complain. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Those are the those are the discount Hot Wheels monster trucks. Like I said, this is wave one. There is a secondary wave. And when I go to do the video on that, you're gonna notice a few changes. First off, there's more trucks. Second off, the trucks have a lot more detail to them. And third off, instead of stickers, they have actual painted decals on them. But that is the only teaser I'm gonna do for those. Those trucks, that video should be out either next month or the month after that. So what are we, May? So June or July is when wave two of the discount Hot Wheels Monster Trucks will be out. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.